So for this question we have an electric motor of input power of 100 watts raises a mass of 10 kilograms vertically at a speed of 0 0.5 meters per second. And then we're trying to work out the efficiency of the system. So efficiency is equal to useful power output divided by total power input. Or you can write that as useful energy output divided by total energy input. So the same thing, it's just one fraction is a fraction of powers and the other fraction is a fraction of energies. So let's write that out. So this is a symbol that you can use for efficiency. So that's equal to, so that's useful power output over total power input. And again, these two could be replaced with energy as well. So the power input in this case is what we're given. We're getting electrical power coming into our system. So we know our denominator is equal to 100. So what is the useful energy in this case? What is the useful power? Is it kinetic energy? Is it gravitational potential energy? Well, if we look at the question, it says that the mass is being raised at a steady speed of 0 0.5. So the kinetic energy is not actually changing. Kinetic energy is staying constant. So this motor is not transferring energy to kinetic energy because that's staying constant. But because we are raising the mass, we must therefore be gaining gravitational potential energy. And this must then be the useful energy output. But we want power output. Well, let's first think about gravitational potential energy. So that's equal to mgh. Power is equal to work done over time, or energy over time. So then the useful power output would be the energy given to gravitational potential energy per second. So that would be E divided by T, or M gh over t and I can rewrite this as mg times h over t so the height gained divided by time and the height gained divided by time is just speed speed is distance over time so this is just the same thing as mg times v so then our equation becomes our efficiency is the useful power output which is mgv divided by this total power input which was the 100 watts I'll just call that pi for pn so let's put in our numbers now so the mass is 10 g is 9.81 v is 0 0.5 and then we divide this whole thing by 100 and we end up with 0 0.4905 now if we times that by 100 to convert it to a percentage we end up with about 49%, and that would be approximately C.